Unnerving and humiliating, Shaw University's president expresses outrage after she says students were wrongfully stopped and searched during a trip to Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Lena Tillette. All new tonight, Aaron Thomas has spent hours digging into this case. He joins us now live from campus after speaking with legal experts. Aaron? Yeah, Lena Gerald, it is worth pointing out that this incident did not involve a bus that bared the school's logo, but instead a charter bus. Now, the school president says that these students were racially profiled, but that legal expert says we should focus more on how the officers and deputies responded. Shock within the Shaw University community tonight. President Paulette Dillard speaking out after she says 18 students became the subject of a stop and search operation in South Carolina. It's a horrible experience all the way around. Raleigh Apex NAACP President Gerald Givens condemning the actions of those who may have been involved. The best way to, to prevent this from happening again is for the standard is what law enforcement officers and the culture that they have within their organization. The students were on their way to a conference in Atlanta, Georgia on October 5th. President Dillard says authorities in Spartanburg County, South Carolina, stopped the driver for a minor traffic violation. Part of her statement reads, multiple sheriff deputies and drug sniffing dogs searched the suitcases of the students and staff located in the luggage racks beneath the bus. In a word, I am outraged. This behavior of targeting black students is unacceptable and will not be ignored nor tolerated. Had the students been white, I doubt this detention and search would have occurred. How can you prove that this was a racial profile type of case? That's not necessary uh, in this case. Irving Joyner, professor of law at North Carolina Central University, says officers involved exceeded their authority when using drug sniffing dogs. You don't even have to get into racial discrimination, although uh, there may be a factual basis to support it. But clearly there is a constitutional violation Now, in that statement, it says that the driver involved was cited for improper lane use. Authorities with the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office told me that 67 similar citations were issued on that same night. We are expected to hear from students and staff involved in this case sometime this week. Lena? Aaron Thomas reporting live at Shaw University. Thank you.